I didn't do it, and if I did it, I'm not guilty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of what it was like recording back in the day, and where you went to record. Um, well, where well, did you record your first song? First song I recorded at radio station KLFT. Okay. In Golden Meadow. Mm -hmm. That was, uh, and then, Ben Bruce had been with Columbia Records mm -hmm. from 1951. He was a big star down here, mm -hmm. and he. The rock and roll kind of pushed all, most of the Columbia's uh, uh, catalog out. Mm -hmm. So he was, <clears throat> him and I were good friends, we played in music together. And so I, I, I went to Floyd Swallow mm -hmm. in uh, Bill Platt, trying to pedal a few songs. Mm -hmm. And he was definitely interested in Vin. Mm -hmm. He said, why don't you cut me one for, for Vin? So I didn't have any, you know, access to recording studios, but I, I knew Roy Vickner at KLFD. Went up there, gathered a band, Vin and I got a, a, a 45. It sold so well, Floyd said, I want an album. We came back, went back to KLFD, and we uh, we tried to, uh, Gene Roderick was a, was a, a local recording artist, mm -hmm. and he played a little fiddle, just enough. And I said, we have to establish a fiddle on this album. And uh, he said, so Gene tried. We, we tried one night all, all night, and, and it didn't work out. And uh, so we went, Vin and I went in the bar, next door to Terry Old's bar, and uh, had a drink, and Vin said, you know, it's a busy, busy area. He said, <laughs> he said you know, he said, I, I know Doc Guidry. Mm -hmm. I know, I, I have a friend who knows Doc Guidry very well. Mm -hmm. uh, Doc Guidry was a legendary Cajun fiddler. He, he had played with Jimmy Davis, in, when Jimmy Davis ran for governor three yeah. times, yeah. 1944, 19, uh, uh, 1960, and then 1969, that wow. when he lost. Mm -hmm. But uh, I said, yeah, you get Doc Guidry. I said, I get Ernest Stubb. Mm. to come play guitar, uh, very, very sarcastically, he said, no, he said, he said, get some quarters, so we got some quarters, he went to the phone, and this was at one o'clock in the morning, mm. but he said, my friend runs a bar in Lafayette, so he got to talk to his friend, came back and said, it's done, he said, I'm waiting for a call, but half an hour later, this 1.30 in the morning, you get the call from Doc Guidry, mm -hmm. Doc Guidry said, Ben, I've been wanting to, to record with you. Yeah. Okay, so we set up the Sunday for, for recording day. Doc, Doc came in. I had I had my local local boys, Harry and Selma on, on guitar. Uh, I, I, I didn't play bass. I directed the session. We had DJ Collins. Uh, we had uh, uh, um, Barrios, uh, 
Ebden Barrios was a good songwriter also, and he played guitar. And in uh, oh, between eight, between the uh, six o'clock Sunday, to about four o'clock Monday morning, we cut thirteen records, and we. Uh, it's all stuff that Ben and Doug knew. Yeah. I mean, the standard, uh, the, the Jolie Blonde, mm. the Elaba, the the uh, uh, the all, all, all standard stuff we've been doing for years. So I took it to Floyd. Floyd, man, it says, where you go? He said, where you cut that? Cosmo? I said, no, I wish I could go to Cosmo. He says, uh, well, if this sells, you can go to Cosmo from now on. He said. So he put the album out without the Vince picture on it. Just Ben Bruce sings Jolie Blonde, and I, and I have it in there. If you saw it without mm -hmm. the picture, yeah, yeah. and you saw it maybe with, with the picture. Right. So he called us back, he said, go take a picture. So oh, he said, uh, Jolie Blonde, we got to find a blonde. So a young lady in the neighborhood dyed her hair. And we went and we sat on a shrimp boat and took a, a nice picture. Yeah. But Floyd, what he did, he blacked out the whole background and, and made us he is sitting on the, front, on the porch of an old shack oh. in another picture. Huh. But he re-released the album, and it, the sales were amazing, Floyd said. Ooh. And then, why don't you all go to Cosmo and cut some stuff? So we went to Cosmo and cut stuff for Vin. We went to La Louisiane to mm -hmm. cut stuff for Vin, and, and Vin started to put out 45 yeah. and, and more albums. And, yeah. and, and we, we, we reorganized the Vin, the band, the Acadian, which, which he had, when he lost his Columbia contract, he had this band, we started to tour again, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we uh, we teamed up with the uh, National Park Service, oh. uh, Smoker the Bear, yeah. it, they, they, they saw us in Lafayette play, and they they contracted us to, to fly around the country at the Folk Festival. Mm. First one we did was the National Folk Festival in Vienna, Virginia, which is just outside of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Then we went to St. Louis, Missouri. We did the Border Festival under the Arch. We went to El Paso, Texas. Uh, we, uh, we we played the Border Festival there. Mm -hmm. And several others, and they would fly us over around the country. Amazing. Uh, they asked me if I, if I got paid for that. I said, I would have paid them. It was a lot of fun. But I said, what happened? They would give us an honorarium. They didn't call it a salary, and the honorarium would just cover, would cover the wife's plane ticket, <laughs> the hotel <laughs> meal. So you didn't make any money, but you took your wife on a vacation, and uh, the the three days we played music, they shopped, they went, mm -hmm. they went to see the town and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We uh, we do about three sets a day sometimes, depending on, on the festival. Mm -hmm. I did one in. Uh, <coughs> we called the go. And the only two that were available to go was me and Doc Guidry in, in, in uh, uh, Plains, Georgia. <coughs> and they had a festival there, an annual festival. Mm -hmm. So we did our bid, just me and, me and Doc. And it was the, the, the year that Jimmy Carter was running for president. So they had signs about Jimmy Carter all over town. Mm -hmm. And so happened he was in town, <coughs> got to meet him. Really? He, he was a candidate. <laughs> I, I, I met, I met uh, him and <laughs> and years later, uh, at, uh, years before I had met Adlai Stevenson, he had come to the first Jimmy Rogers Memorial Day in Meridian, Mississippi. Okay. So I got to meet two presidential candidates, who, <laughs> one who won, the other who did not. Right, right, right. So, what was the question? <laughs> the sign says 20 miles to the place we left behind. We left to get married, but now we've changed our minds. I'm glad we thought it over, we should have from the start. The sign says 20 miles, but we're a million miles apart. Our families tried to stop us, but we thought we were right. We closed our ears to reason, and we eloped tonight. But as we talked it over, we
We found we weren't smart The sign said 20 miles But we're a million miles apart We had our first quarrel Just 50 miles away Before we drove a hundred Our love had gone astray We know that to return is The only thing that's smart The sign says 20 miles But we're a million miles apart 